Right, it's starting to take shape now, so now we've got um, uh, a frame, so I've um, built this, uh, this frame for it. Um, and also we've got a second um, propeller, um, just need two more. This motor is actually a different uh, type um, than, the, um, uh, than the original one I purchased in the 22... Seven, I think it's two two one seven slash nine. Um, but yeah, um, the frame I uh, I'm just made myself. Um, I found some very lightweight uh, aluminium, and it actually comes from the handles of a dustpan and brush. Would you believe it? So yeah, I I, I um, used a Dremel to cut those apart, um, put it in a in a cross formation. Um, cut some plastic off of an old chair and screw that down. Now the Arduino is sort of screwed down onto onto there, so it's um, taking shape. So um, and now with the lighter frame, the frame actually weighed. As I was keeping quite an eye, close eye on the weight of of the frame as I was making it, um, it weighs about two hundred and twenty grams. Um, so very very light. So what I'm going to do now is just spin up the second prop. Um, and this one doesn't. Act. Here we go. This one doesn't actually respond. Um, this responds at higher throttle values than the um, than this one. Um, next stage is to get uh, both propellers working on different um, servo outputs on the Arduino, so I can control them independently. Um, although now I'm sort of questioning whether my power supply can handle the current draw of both propellers going at the same time, so uh, we'll worry about that when we come to it. So, let's just increase. Okay, so you can see it quite low throttle now, it's generating some lift already, and that's a very low throttle, and it, it's it wants to take off. Um, now if I just briefly give it full throttle, I'm going to have to hold it down. Let's see if I can stand back here. Okay. Okay, um, having to really hold it down now. <laughs> 